Today's game says a lot about you guys. It says a lot about the guys we got in this locker room, the culture of our organization, the character of our football team, and where we're headed. Everybody understand? This is Williams Bryce Stadium in Columbia, South Carolina. Welcome in. The Gamecocks travel to Gainesville, Florida to take on the number three team in the country. And they battled and battled again, but they fell short 38-24 coaches. Typical SEC game, it seems like, in the modern era. And that's kind of back and forth. It was just a little too much to get after in the second half. Well, again, you look at the first half, missed opportunities offensively. I think we had six drops on two critical third downs. Uh, where we're staying on the field, we're, we're getting chunk yardage, we're changing the field position of the game, and then the explosive plays on defense in the first half, and then the, obviously the 57-yarder in the second half was a killer. Yeah, Coach, uh, offensively, you had some other players that made some highlight plays for you today, including running back Kevin Harris, all the running backs, and Shai Smith had another big day. He did. Shai played well. We've got to continue to get more guys involved, but the running backs were very good in the passing game. Deshaun and Kevin. Kevin ran extremely hard. Really proud of our entire room there. 100 day running uh, day for Kevin Harris on the afternoon. A couple catches to, for Fenwick as well. And actually, Kevin Harris caught his first touchdown pass as a Gamecock. All that is coming up and more on your highlights. But first, coach, on our Prisma Health injury report, any injuries to report right now? There's no major injuries we have right now. All right. That's our Prisma Health. Andrew Report. Don't forget, coming up, highlights, and there's lots of them, a lot of action from uh, Ben Griffin Hill Stadium in Gainesville, Florida. We'll be back on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp from Learfield IMG College. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Coca-Cola, Prisma Health, Britons of Columbia, and Backstreet's Bar and Grill. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. It's Ford Truck Month. And if this is your kind of day, and this is your kind of truck, then this is your month. Ford Truck Month. Now, get great deals on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 43 years. Now, during Ford Truck Month, get a 2020 F-150 with up to 10765 in total savings, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. dealer has the legendary tools to take on your to-do list. Real Steel. Find yours for the space you've always wanted. Pick up the lightweight FS38 trimmer or the hard-working BG50 blower. Only $139.95. Find yours at steeldealers.com. Welcome back. A beautiful day in Gainesville, an unusual, the earliest date ever between these two squads. Let's go out to Spurrier, Florida field for first half highlights. Well, we came out here and, uh, you know, the first drive of the game just took it right down the field, 75 yards, just like last week. Uh, you know, Mike did a great job of mixing things up in the run in the pass, and then we were able to get the ball in there and, and, uh, and score, and that was good to get a, a first drive score, uh, always get the momentum of the game going. Colin Hill was five of five on that drive for 47 yards. That's a two yard run by Kevin Harris to put you on the scoreboard. The second week in a row, that was 12 plays, 75 yards. The Carolina get off on the right start. 
Parker White with the extra point. You know, they yeah. came they came back down the field here again we got, we're a little soft in the run game we got to go finish that run right there and, and uh, in this situation they want RJ to stop playing when his helmet comes off it's kind of hard when you're in the middle of a play but uh, they did a nice job picking us on the goal line again they did it last year and they did it again this year yep no third downs on the drive for that that's Pierce for the two yard run your team comes back really nice dig here throw it uh, to uh, uh, Nick Mews got to catch the ball. We had a couple of those open and, and uh, hit Xavier on one. We missed Nick, hit Xavier on the first drive. Nice pressure by Ernest, makes him move his feet, but we got to cover uh, Pitts a little bit better there. You got to really challenge him in, the, in the, uh, the top part of the route. They come back on a slant play on the backside here. Felt like that was a pretty clean play there by JC. Uh, they came back for a little throwback. They drained out our flat defender and they hit Pitts. Uh, again, coming through in this, the second wave, really very similar to what Tennessee hit on us. Uh, in the first ball game of the year to take it to a 14-7 to lead. Hard um, to defend him all the time, and they yeah. got in the red zone and took advantage of it. Did a much better job on him in the second half. Again, you know, a critical third down there. They do a nice job defending it. They come up on the zone read, and a, a nice tackle there by Tonka Hemingway. Gets his hat on the ball right there. Ball comes out. Cam Smith's in a position to recover the fumble. Uh, I think it was Cam Smith. Maybe it was Ernest, Ernest Jones Ernest got Jones. it. Ernest Jones. Well, that's good. Yep. Well, Ernest got in there and got it. Uh, so that created some momentum, and we get seven points off of it right here. Mike goes to a tempo play. Uh, we block it on the perimeter. Shot does a nice job of sp splitting them in the end zone uh, to make it a 14 to 14 ball game, tying it up there uh, midway through the second quarter. That's the first turnover of the year for the Gamecock defense. And then, Coach, this is the one that went 17 14. Good stop by your defense. Yeah, it really was. You know, we got a PI down there with John Dixon. I don't know about that. But uh, we come back here a little, little inaccurate there on second and 10. We had three throws here, but we did feel good with where we were in the passing game. We had protected the quarterback well, uh, just didn't, didn't uh, punt well coming off of that situation. Uh, uh, and then they're not got it a nice job here. We got to tackle a little better, clean some things up. Uh, got a lot of guys swarming to the football here. Uh, and then they we, they get Pitts gets loose on the goal line there. We 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 loaded up the run game and it's a 10 point game at halftime. Coach, that last drive you got the football with 3:30 to go and it was three and out and only 21 seconds off the clock. You're right, you'd had success throwing the football, but it's hard to give it back to them, a team like that with that short period of time. No doubt, and we're, we we need to continue to punt the ball better. And Kai hit some good balls today, he, better than he did in week one. Uh, but but uh, th that was disappointing in that situation. But uh, again, we wanted to be aggressive, wanted to be aggressive before the half. We talk in terms of those middle eight and being able to take advantage of that in that situation. We felt good about the calls. It didn't work out the way we wanted. 24-14, as Coach mentioned, at halftime. Let's go back out to Ben Hill Griffin Stadium for second half highlights. Well, we come out second half again, 10-point uh, deficit there. We, we, we kick to them. We, we get the ball back off, off of that. We got a critical third down and five here. Uh, really nice job converting to Shy. I think he had 12 receptions in the game. Uh, continues to play extremely well for us. And Colin and he got a great report throwing the football. Uh, this this can't happen. You got to you got to secure the ball first before you take off running. You can't give a potent offense like that the ball on our side of the 50, which is what we did right here. I mean, you got we got to play right there, and, and that was a huge mistake. It comes off a holding and a false start, 15 yards back to back, and then we turn the ball over. Uh, then we come back here. Uh, you, you know, they hit the uh, right there. That was the uh, that, that's question. Uh, that's that's it is what it is. Yeah. Um, but but again, they come here, a pick play here, ball thrown down the field, and they're blocking. I, you know, again, that we'll, we'll turn in the league office. It is what it is. It's been two years in a row. Actually, yeah, this one is not to Pitts, it's to Copeland, but uh, pretty clear what's going on with the Florida scheme inside the five yard line. All right, that's going to make it a 31 14 ball game. And now you know you got a lot of work to do because of a potent offense like this. And you, defense gives you a couple chance. Yeah, well, we're third and down, third down here. I mean, we, we got to get off the field. We had three critical third downs. This is third and nine opportunity. And we just get beat in the slot. And then, okay, now let's get him on the ground. Let's go tackle the guy. And we got guys just lunging in there trying to, you can't tackle that way. We don't teach that. That's nothing that's being taught. We need to replace some guys back there. A long down converted and then some scored. And it makes it 38-14. And Parker White, you decide to kick the field here, yeah, Coach. That's a, I mean, it's a 24-point game. You cut it to a 21-point game. At least you're getting points out of it. Go down. Let's make another stop. We had made some stops. We had gotten to third down, and then you get the interception. So it turns out it was a great decision. Kwame with his first on the year, one-handed 
catch on the outside, and Colin Hill with a drill right down the middle of Kevin Harris. Really nice call by Mike there. Cuts it to the, now a 14-point game. We need to make another stop defensively, which we do. And I, I wish we hadn't taken as much time on this clock, but they were playing coverage. They were staying on top of everything. We converted, I think, two or three fourth down during the drive. Uh, so, you know, again, give our guys credit. They kept fighting. Florida was not going to allow anything down the field big. They were going to make us earn everything we got down the field. It was an 18-play drive. I wish we had not taken as much time off the clock and certainly wish we had gotten the ball in the end zone. That gives you an opportunity there to, 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 to have a one-score game onside kick with two timeouts. And, and now you got a chance to go win the game, tie or win the game, which we would have gone for the win here on the road. About seven minutes on this drive. And there's Hill trying to get one more throw to Shy Smith who can't come up with his 13th of the day. And then this one's a coach is probably everything you asked for with you're having to roll out and escape the pocket a little bit and Shy open just missed him. Yeah, that's a tough, tough deal there. Colin played well for us there. We got to catch the ball. We got to eliminate some of the big plays we had on defense. But you know, you can't allow a good team like Florida that many opportunities. Uh, your team went for it on the day. Five of six on fourth down coach. Those things were converted, but Carolina Falls 38-24 to the number three team in the country in the Florida Gators. We'll be right back on Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp from Learfield IMG College. Join us every week at Backstreet Bar and Grill on Divine Street for Carolina Calls from 7 to 8 o'clock. Tune in to Carolina Calls every week or go to backstreetsgrill.com for more information. Prisma Health is proud to be the official health care system and team physicians for the Gamecocks. Prisma Health providers are on the sidelines every day taking care of our players, and they are providing the same exceptional care for everyone across the Midlands and the Upstate. With more access to the highest level of care, research innovations, and patient education, Prisma Health is committed to helping you be the healthiest you. We're proud to have them on our team. To learn more about the team behind the team, visit prismahealth.org forward slash Gamecocks. It's Ford Truck Month, and if this is your kind of day, and this is your kind of truck, then this is your month. Ford Truck Month. Now, get great deals on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 43 years. Now, during Ford Truck Month, get a 2020 F-150 with up to $10,765 in total savings, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. It happens to you. There's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. Georgia with six on the board for the Gamecocks. 
All right, here's Trask. He'll take it himself, right side, and the ball goes on the ground, and the Gamecocks have got it. Trask runs it over to the right side, and Carolina's got it. The first turnover of the day, and they'll have it on the Gators' side of the 50-yard line. Hill again, quick wide receiver screen, shy Smith, splits him into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, shy Smith. Rolls up in the pocket, the game got to dot it. Right hash, Mark snap it back, put it down. Parker, plenty of distance, turning and good. Trask in the pocket, throws on the edge, and that's picked off. Mukwamu picked it off at the 38-yard line from the nine. The wide receiver's right side, Hughes and Shai Smith in the slot. Bill wants to throw, in route, got it, two-yard line, into the end zone. Kevin Harris, a little angle route, touchdown Carolina. Touchdown, Kevin Harris from nine yards out. Okay. Okay, I like that grunt. That got me fired up right there, man. Now, one more time, same group. Hey, Black, I, hey, Fire, I like what you're doing, but again, I want to go which way? Let's go, Burke, man. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Come on, you're moving too slow. Come on, you're moving slow. Come on, big man. Come on, big man. Give me some. Get out. Come on. You ain't running. Get out of there. There you go, good job, big man. There we go. Felt the two. But I'm sitting here like this. I want to press. All right, you want you sitting here, you going this way, okay? I'm with my left foot back. I want to press vertical. Get in that, big man. Stick your right hand in there. Lean on him. Lean on him. Lean on him. Drop your hips, Rick. Right there. Push, push. Huh. I know you got that off of Monday Night Football. I know. I saw it. It's it what you just did. Keep pressing it. Keep pressing it. Hey, hey, I can live with that. I can do that. That's all I'm asking. Okay. 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 That's only one. That's one now. That's only one. Go, 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 go. Believe it. You got to pull with it. You ain't used to pulling. You got a chance. Out your hips. Keep your toes in the ground as much as you can, big man. There we go. Tom. Right here. All right. So now we want to go. Now I want you to drag. Like right here. I'm just dragging my knuckles and coming out my hips now. Okay. Right here, Tom. You're on this side. There we go. There you go. There you go. Got just as much talent as anyone else out here. So you gonna, I'm going to keep pushing you. Listen up. There ain't no quitting this football team. You just keep fighting. You play off each other. You feed off each other. If that's what you got to do in life. Everybody understand that? Yeah. Life's difficult. You got to keep fighting. And you respond. Steel Dealer has the legendary tools to take on your to-do list. Real Steel. Find yours. For the space you've always wanted. Pick up the lightweight FS38 trimmer or the hard-working BG50 blower. Only $139.95. Find yours at steeldealers.com. It's Ford Truck Month, and if this is your kind of day, and this is your kind of truck. Then this is your month. Ford Truck Month. Now, get great deals on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 43 years. Now, during Ford Truck Month, get a 2020 F-150 with up to $10,765 in total savings, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Prisma Health is proud to be the official healthcare system and team physicians for the Gamecocks. 
Prisma Health providers are on the sidelines every day taking care of our players, and they are providing the same exceptional care for everyone across the Midlands and the upstate. With more access to the highest level of care, research innovations, and patient education, Prisma Health is committed to helping you be the healthiest you. We're proud to have them on our team. To learn more about the team behind the team, visit prismahealth.org forward slash Gamecocks. Good hard work has earned Hank Manos the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the football team, Manos is a sophomore sport and entertainment management major with a 3.634 GPA. This week's academic athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. Here, second and goal from the nine. Three wide receivers right side, Hughes and Shy Smith in the slot. Hill wants to throw, in route, got it, two yard line, into the end zone, Kevin Harris, a little angle route, touchdown Carolina, touchdown Kevin Harris from nine yards out. That's our Sansbury Eye Center, did you see that play, Kevin Harris, who not only did it from for you coach on the ground, but also catching the football, that was a nine yard touchdown. He caught the ball well, but I thought it was a really good design by Mike, knowing we're gonna get man coverage on the linebacker and take advantage of that in coverage. Uh, he also rushed for 100 yards on today, and now our Terminex Pest player of the game. It's hard to go away from Shy Smith, Coach. He did it all for you today. He was targeted 18 times, had 12 catches. Well, he's catching the ball well, competes his butt off. He's uh, been a guy that's very difficult to cover in the slot. He can give us a lot to our football team. So we've got to continue to, to work with some other guys, but it's hard to go away from him as productive as he's been. You did play a lot of young receivers today. Yeah. You think you see some things you can move forward Rico on? Rico Powers, uh, you know, flashed a little bit. I'd like to watch the film first, but I thought, you know, we got to continue to improve at the position. Shy is our Terminex Pest player of the game. When we come back, we'll look ahead. The Vanderbilt Commodores, the Gamecocks are 0-2, but on the road again in the Southeastern Conference. This is Gamecock football with Will Muschamp from Learfield IMG College. If the Gamecocks gain 350 yards or more, turn on your notifications on the Game Day app to learn how you can get a free biscuit from Hardee's on Monday. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. It happens to you. There's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. It's Ford Truck Month. And if this is your kind of day, and this is your kind of truck, then this is your month. Ford Truck Month. Now, get great deals on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 43 years. Now, during Ford Truck Month, get a 2020 F-150 with up to $10,765 in total savings, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Only your steel dealer has the legendary tools to take on your to-do list. Real steel. Find yours for the space you've always wanted. Pick up the lightweight FS38 trimmer or the hardworking BG50 blower, only $139.95. Find yours at steeldealers.com. Gamecock Football with Will Muschamp is brought to you by Coca-Cola, Prisma Health, Britons of Columbia, and Backstreet's Bar and Grill.
Welcome back, Coach. No shock. You play in the Southeastern Conference every week. You're going to have some times your team's a little down, and you got to come back and fire it up again. And next, the Vanderbilt Commodores. We go on the road to take them on a noon kickoff next Saturday. But I suspect, like normal, you're worried about your team first, getting over this one and making sure they're healthy, and then moving on. Your thoughts right now on where they are mentally? Well, again, I think that we've got a good bunch of young men that are going to work extremely hard this week, prepare to go to Nashville. Uh, Vanderbilt, uh, they did a really good job against Texas A&M in week one, and uh, and they got uh, LSU tonight. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. But they, uh, we need to worry about us right now, and, that, and that's bouncing back uh, and setting a little bit of a restart button for ourselves and getting, getting, getting back in this thing. We've, we've opened up against two good opponents, but uh, you know we expected to be 2-0 at this time, and we're not. Yeah, it doesn't look good in the locker room, which is what I want to see when I came to get you today, right. too. Uh, I suspect this is a club that wants to win a lot. It's going to fight hard for you. I know. Our guys play hard. They, they, they did today. They did last Saturday night. We need to win. Anything you saw with personnel today that you know, hey, I think I'm going to give them more snaps or I'm going to take some away that you know going into next week? We'll continue to look at the receiver position, defensive back. You know, that was disappointing. And then, you know, uh, you know, offensive line, you know, Ja'Kai did some good things, I think. And we'll continue to, to explore that. The young defensive lineman, Tonka and Jordan Birch, continue to play well. Jalen Dickerson made some stops today yeah, as well. Uh, Coach, um, a, a couple of Toyota keys to the game against Vanderbilt. Over the first two weeks, probably seen a thing or two that you know you need to transfer into the next ball game. Well, they have two new coordinators, so adjusting to what they're doing now, mm -hmm. I don't know how different they are uh, from Todd Fitch and Ted Roof, the, the two guys that I know personally, but and they'll do a good job. So we got to figure out what they're doing, but let's get our guys back. Let's rally it up tomorrow. We need to have a good Sunday practice and then come after it on Tuesday and get ready for Vanderbilt. That's our Toyota keys to the game. Toyota, let's go places. We appreciate you being with us. Another great venue, another tough ball game in the Southeastern Conference. You'll be with us though on Gamecock football with Will Muschamp from Learfield IMG College. We'll see you next time. This has been a presentation from Learfield IMG College.